Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number RM1200. Uh, this is a straight, square ends, small post mount, pull for cabinets, casework, doors, whatnot. This happens to be the 8 inch center to center, and we have the RM1200. If you searched for just RM1200, you would certainly find well, all of the finishes that would be available. But if you search for RM1200 space 630, you'll find all of the stainless only versions. Uh, first about the finishes. Polished brass, satin brass, oil rub bronze, satin, uh, pardon me, polished stainless, satin stainless, and then a powder coated equivalent of oil rub bronze. A dark brown color that would be powder coated complementary to oil rubbed but would be stable unlike oil rubbed, true oil rubbed. So two different base materials, brass and stainless, different finishes. This is 630 and that means that it's solid stainless and that it is in a brushed finish. You can order the same item um, in a polished stainless and in the base material of course would be identical just to be nice and shiny. Now let's take a look. Different lengths. Let's search for that RM1200 in a 630 finish only. Four inch, five inch, six inch, eight inch, ten inch, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty inch. Being Rockwood, they can make any size you want. And in fact, um, being Rockwood, they'll, they'll, they'll entertain anything that you throw at them is my experience, which is one of the primary reasons that I, well, one of, one of several primary reasons that I enjoy working with them, because they don't say no. If they've got the machinery, they've got the moxie, that's for sure. Now, let's go over some dimensional properties of this item. The RM1200 is going to be a half inch diameter pole. The, the size of the mounts, that's smaller, coming in at 3 eighths. The total projection of the pole, 7 eighths. So therefore you're going to be at 1 and 3 eighths total, I'm sorry, the clearance is 7 eighths. The total projection is going to be the inch and 3 eighths. The center to center is how these are classified. Very important, because that's how these are defined. Eight inch, it's gonna be eight inch center to center on the mounting screws, okay? Uh, this will have an overall length, and this dimension doesn't change. Looks like it's about nine and seven eighths. Uh, la la la, I do not see, let's see if that is detailed somewhere. It is not detailed that the overall equal 1 and 7 eighths greater than center to center. There are links below this video to uh, some documents. The first is the product brochure where the RM1200 is listed there. Along with the other uh, relate, sister related products in terms of diameter and the way they treat the ends and the post. You can do these in straight or you can do them in offset as well. That document is handy because it will quickly give you those different part numbers. And that link to the product brochure is just one page out of a hundred page document which we'll point out to you before the end of this video. Um, and again, the center to center, anything can really be made. So don't worry about it not being listed. It is available, just simply needs to be quoted. Now back to the extended description, product brochure we've pointed out to you, mounting drawings, <clears throat> the RM1200 is going to be a type 1 mount only in terms of an installation method. Yeah, so only way to mount these is with 832 screws that are going to be 1 inch long, typical for typical 3 quarter drawer or cabinet fronts, an awfully big drawer. Um, you have a thicker door, 
we can supply you with longer 832 screws. Just reach out to us and we'll quote those. Or you just pick those up. Printable cut sheet is there. That would be if you were on the Rockwood website, what you would find. Now the balance of the um, extended description information down below. Straight small mount post for cabinets, casework, closet doors, etc. Square ends, half inch diameter. Center to center will vary based on what you're doing. Stainless steel base with a satin finish or polished. Fasteners 832 by 1. THMS. It should be truss head machine screw. That's probably just a pan head that's there. If you need back to back mounting, the RM1210 can accommodate that apparently. And I don't remember why. Oh, it's a larger pole. Uh, it's a larger diameter pole, and as a result of the material being thicker, they can give you the option of a back-to-back -back mount. So that might be something that you'd want to <clears throat> review. That says everything about the RM1200. Very nice pole. We sell these all the time. This kind of thing will end up going to millwork. Uh, people that are creating custom kitchens, casework, woodworking installations. Uh, decorative applications is what I'm basically trying to say on this. Very nice quality item. Now finally there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all the Rockwood products that we sell but a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog but this one is called the Architectural Door Pull Catalog or RM. I'm going to pull up that page and review. You've got two catalogs, the core catalog, the Rockwood catalog, the trim and auxiliary, kick plates, push plates, stops, things of that nature. Then you've got their decorative hardware stuff, the RM series material where you will find the RM1200. And as I said earlier, another 99 pages of options. So if you've ever walked into a bank, a restaurant, any opening that's got a seven foot long door pole, that could be Rockwood. And that's what you'll find in that RM catalog. And it is called Rockwood Architectural Door Poles. At least that's what we're currently calling it. For look, for look for something that says that's an architectural door pull, and you'll find that catalog there. Any questions on the RM1200 in a 630 finish or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.